वेलकम टू द क्लास फॉर ओरल्स मरीन हब यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फ्लेयर ऑफ अ शिप दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड वेरी मच इन द एम एम डी क्लास फॉर ओरल्स इन द सेफ्टी और द कॉस्टफुल फंक्शन बिफोर वी प्रोसीड इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब या टू द चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द डिस्कशन बाय डेफिनेशन द फ्लेयर ऑफ द शिप इज द आउटवर्ड कर्वेचर ऑफ द शेल प्लेटिंग एट द फॉरवर्ड एंड ऑफ द शिप और यू कैन ऑल्सो से इट इज द फॉल आउट ऑफ द बाउ प्लेटिंग आउटवर्ड कर्वेचर ऑफ द प्लेटिंग एज द डेक इज अप्रोच यू कैन सी हेयर द डायग्राम ऑफ द शिप फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम द साइड व्यू एज वेल एज फ्रॉम द फॉरवर्ड व्यू दिस इज द बाउ पार्ट एंड दिस इज द शेल प्लेटिंग एंड यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द कील द शेल प्लेटिंग इज राइजिंग अपवर्ड्स एंड आउटवर्ड्स this outward curvature from the keel to the deck side is is called the flare of the ship because you can see here the outward curvature this outward curvature is called flare of the ship this is the basic definition so let's start what is the purpose and the advantages of the bow flare on a ship the first point being to increase the reserved buoyancy at the ends thereby helping to prevent the bow from diving deeply into the heavy seas if the forward part flare is outwards then it will automatically increase the reserved buoyancy thereby it will not let the ship to deeply dive into the heavy seas this is the first advantage the second advantage is to protect the shell plating from the anchor and allowing the anchor to drop clear of the shell plating this is the chafing ring and this is the anchor because the anchor is mounted here and this is the flare of the ship by the, by providing the flare the anchor is always kept free from the and clear from the shell plating because the anchor is very much heavy in weight and it can damage the shell plating also so while dropping the anchor also there will be considerable gap between the shell plating and the anchor so the anchor uh, the shell plating will always be safe and the anchor will not damage the shell plating this is the second advantage the third advantage to keep the forward dry because the water will drain out easily and water will not come to the deck since the flare is provided here and suppose in case of heavy seas or the water splashing the water will not come on the deck because of the shape and the water if Uh, if it comes to this part it will glide and slide back to the sea thereby the deck will be always dry so the shape tends to throw the water aside keeping it off the deck so water will try not to come on the deck side the fourth point to increase the capacity of the forward by increase in the breadth of the foxel flare the shape of the flare is by geometric it is increasing the forward breadth thereby we have got more area and got more space to load more items thereby we can load more there and since the reserved buoyancy of the ship is also greater in the forward side so this is the fourth advantage the fifth advantage is regarding the collision suppose this is the rock or any kind of obstruction coming in the uh, forward of the ship during sailing so at the time of collision the forward flare the flare provides the area increasing and it acts as a robust shock absorber so this advantage is served by the uh, flare this advantage is also in case of the bulbous bow because bulbous bow also acts as a shock absorber in case of collision the last point advantage is the flare is giving the permanent buoyancy to the forward structure again it is linked to the reserved buoyancy but since the flare is a permanent structure part of the hull so increased area in the forward will automatically give us the permanent buoyancy in the forward and automatically ship will try to be stable so these are the five to six advantages which to be told before the surveyor in the mmd class or orals if asked about the advantages of the flare and its definition i hope the definition is clear and we have understood 
the video well. Please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you for your time.